Good morning everyone, Crafty Carl here. Today we're going to do uh, my fourth tutorial and it's based on the Crafty Carl uh, bespoke frame giveaway and the lucky Billy Jean Ledger was the winner of that. So I have been in contact with Billy Jean and she has gave me the details that she would like and a photograph on this frame and I went on ahead and did a wee design on the computer printed it out on photographic paper and everything's sitting here ready now that I'm going to put together on the frame. So we can take you through it here step by step. So this is the wee design I made in the computer and other wee accessories here that I'm going to be putting together in the frame along with these wee lights that I get online quite handy and they go all the way around the frame I think there's actually 20 lights in total and I kind of do five at each side so it works out great okay so let's get started just line up this camera so first things first what I do is I glue the back of the IKEA card here ready to insert the photograph and make sure you make your wee design that is big enough to obviously cover that. I love using the blue Pritt stick basically because I know I can see where the glue's going. So I'm just going to line this here now. Don't worry if it goes over the edges, it clears dry. This is the great thing about this blue Pritt stick. And it's quite strong. That helps also. So what we shall do now is line up the photograph here and all you're really doing is trying to get the center so there we go a little bit of careful eye here to line it up that's it centered now so just press down lightly There we go. So you can see now that it's in place. My camera's looking a bit dark there, but it is a lot lighter. What I do now is I turn over and I glue the back just to tidy it up because it comes with a wee piece of paper. So I might as well use it. And this will just tidy it up. So it comes with a piece of paper. So, as I say, I just tidy it up and then give it my wee stamp on the back. Okay, so that's it so far. As I say, don't worry about that blue glue because that will dry clear. Okay, so next thing's... I'm going to do is the Scrabble letters. See if you can see that all right. Yep. And I've went on ahead and packed out my letters, which I'm just going to do daddy on top. And you can design this in any way that you want to. See if I can lift this camera here and show you. So basically, you can have it straight. Or you can have the letters quite close together, like that. Or what I like to do is, is just give it a wee bit of funkiness and just do it like that. So, I find whenever I started doing, working with the wood and the Scrabble letters, I was using the No Nails Glue, uh, Hard Nails or No Nails Glue. That was something hard as nails, which is great. You can just put a wee bit out in a plate and use a paintbrush and smooth it on. But as time went on, I tend to go for less messier methods. And I just use the good old fashioned super glue now. You can get about five of those in a packet in Poundland. Um, for a pound. <laughs> uh, so the good thing about this here is 
with your letters sort of just funky like this you don't have to have exact precision but I would be careful that it's basically it's center so watch for your gap here at this side and your gap here at this side and what I tend to do is look for the middle here and put down my first letter first so that's what I'm going to do I don't want to take up too much time here um, and these bits and pieces so I'll go on ahead and do this Okay, everyone, I haven't done ahead, as you can see here. Oh, I left the camera. There we go. I've got it on. Sorry, I'm just trying to speed up the process here because these videos tend to go on and on and I don't want me droning on forever. Just checking out there. Yep. There we are. So what I did, I went on ahead to the computer. Oh, just take you over to the computer here. And I went on ahead and created this here. Um, it's just a wee design and then I printed out and I've put it onto this wee heart. There we go, it's just photographic paper so you don't have to use decoupage in the top. You can see the, you just glue it on. And it's quite a nice effect. I went on ahead and I've sprayed the wee heart gold so I'm just going to place it here now. There's, these are the wee accessories here now that you make yourself and decide what you're going to um, do just to bling up your frame. So I'm just gluing the back of this wee wooden heart here and I'm going to put it in place in my frame. There we go. Alright, I'm going to do the same thing now. With this wee heart because it's going to go on top of the gold heart and you've got kind of like a 3d effect then these wee things sitting on top of each other so there we are let's sit sitting on top now get a wee bit closer for you you see there we go so next thing i created another wee gold heart for the other side I'm just going to glue that glue that on place. Just a wee smaller heart. No, nope, not enough glue. There we go. That'll settle in a minute. And then just you buy these really in any wee craft shop. Um and just glue that and put in the centre of your smaller heart. As I say, you can decide what you want yourself to embellish your frame. I've just rumbled through the drawers of my craft room to get bits and pieces together for this wee frame. So, so far, let's see. It's looking nice. Right, let's add some other wee bits and pieces. Um, I haven't gone ahead and I have sprayed this wee love symbol here, uh, gold, so it's going to be a bit tricky just gluing the edges of this, but I shall be careful and just go around the edge. There we go, let's hopefully I don't super glue my fingers. Well, that didn't work. I just broke it. Bear with me to get another one. There you go. After I uh, cleaned the glue off my fingers, it was sticking. <laughs> I sprayed another one there, as you can see, and glued it on. Okay. So now we're going to add a few more wee embellishments here, just to bling it up a wee bit, and then we're going to add the lights. So I have a few wee things left out here. Mm, but wee stars and wee hearts. As I say, you can use anything at all that you want. So it's up to really personal taste. So let's give it a wee go. So first things first, I think what I'll do is I'll use my wee pearls on the, 
the wee flowers that it's just sitting in there just to give it a wee three dimensional look and these can be any colour or diamantes or whatever you want to do it doesn't really matter so most of these frames believe it or not I just wing them I don't know from start to finish what I'm actually going to be making but it's always a pleasant surprise at the end whenever you see the the final look each one of my frames are all different there's never two frames or any of my products the same I like to have that individuality and bespokeness about it there we go I don't know if you see it there it just popped out popped or sorry popped out popped on um just to give it that wee bit a 3d dimensional look about it okay here goes some more wee bits and pieces so they all add to the character of the frame so what we'll do is i've got a few wee stars here i think i'll pop them here the other side of the scrabble letters for daddy and make that just stand out a wee bit. Try not to glue my fingers again. There we go. That's one in place. There's another one there. Just be careful, people. Honestly, these wee glues are cheap, yes, out of Poundland, but they're so strong. I'm sure there's other low adhesive glues out there, but I'm always one of these people that think, oh my goodness, my frame goes out in about six months' time. Is the wee embellishment still stuck on? I just get a bit panicky thinking... I wouldn't like them to fall down into the frame. So, we're getting there. Wee bits and pieces. Um, what will we do now? I think we'll do a couple of wee hearts somewhere. Um, I've got more of those wee stars. They might be nice. Let's try there. And we'll try there. They're very fiddly to be working with. Anywhere. I think that will do me. I don't want to over bling it up. It's just all coming. Believe it or not, whenever the lights go on, all these wee embellishments will all... Uh, be more noticeable so what we're going to do now is we can put on a nice wee tape now it depends again what your preference is I have got lots and lots of different tapes and they're glittery and all the rest um, I really don't know I'm undecided between the wee stars and the green glitter I don't want to bling it up too much because you're always worried about somebody's taste. So, Billie Jean, I think I'm going to go with this wee star, coloured star one here. So I hope you like it. And these ones are very, very, very strong adhesive on here. Oh, I'm going to the camera, Carl. There we are. So, you can help it so you don't worry about it coming off. And remember to allow a wee gap. I can just show you here. The width of the frame here you have to allow a wee gap so whenever you're doing this here make sure that the tape's going to be up this way you know sort of starts from here and goes up so you can sort of get an idea what actual width is that it's about half an inch yep so, I have a rough idea because I do these quite a lot anyway. So, again, I just wing it. And um, let's go for it. Oh, sorry, I meant to put this on first. This helps as well. 
with an extra sealant, I normally put a wee coat of that on. Um, sorry, what time are we at now? Jaker's 15 minutes. Right, I'll pause this a wee minute and come back. Now you can see, I've gone down ahead. Just trying to speed up time here. Um, but I've gone down ahead and put the border all the way around. I've just left a wee age um, all the way around. Add a few more wee bits and pieces there, wee hearts and whatever, just to not overdoing it, but as I say, keeping the colour scheme the same. Okay, now we're going to add the lights. So again, these wee lights here, um, quite easy. Put this away here for now. Set that stay up there. Get our frame down. Now what we want to do is go to the back edging of the frame. You'll see it here, it's got a wee bit. Um, excuse my nails by the way. Um, we're going to do the back side and we're going to stick down to that. And the what I use for these is glue dots. It's very, very handy. It's very fast. Um, and we just get a, a wee glue dot in our hand and uh, we're just getting ready now to line down oh, I hope if I undo this first there we go stretch out um, the lights here okay let's see if I can do this in such a way we're going to see I think I should give you an idea, so bear with me. So, you always be careful, because you have to decide this here has to come out. So if I can just show you this on camera. I'll have to hold the camera here. On the frames here, you've got obviously this agent. Some frames, the agent's down at the bottom right, but in this frame here, it's in the top right hand corner. So we need to start in the top right hand corner. I'll show you that now. So, top right hand corner, we need to put our very first up here because this is going to overhang to the agent. So, we do this here and then we start working our way around. And by doing that there, we're putting the lights inside the frame. So I just use a wee, don't worry about this here long string for the time being, just put that over there. It's in the top right. Why is it in the top right? Because of this corner here. Okay, so I'm going to work around here. And what I do here is, I just put enough for the wee lights to come through, because whenever the light's turned on, you'll see the light coming in here. So what we have to do is do this, and then glue here and bring the next light across. I'll go on ahead and do a few off camera here um, and then come back on again. Okay, I'm nearly around the frame now. Just got a few left to do. And so the key is just try and show as little as the wire as possible and just the lights within the inside of the frame. Some people use wee strip lights, um, to be honest. I wouldn't be a fan of those because I just don't like, I don't know, I just don't, the flat aging of the strip lights. So um, I prefer to do this. It's a wee bit, it's a wee bit longer, but uh, I think the effect's worth it. Again, it's about each and every one of our own personal choices. In our own taste. I go through quite a lot of these wee dots. But it's good fun all the same. Okay, nearly finished. Last agent one in.
sometimes it goes a wee bit over. I think I've only got four on that other side, but that's okay. So, if I give you an idea, that's what it looks like there now, all the way around. And oh, turn on the light here. And you can see. Okay, and then if I turn around the good age, this is what you should see here in the good age. Just the wee lights popping through here. Any wires that you see here, you just try and push them back whenever you're putting in your frame. Just tidy up as you go along, really. I'll show you that now. Goodness, I'm up 20 minutes. Sorry, people. Um, so we lay this down flat. Okay, we lay this down flat. And what we do is we get our frame. So it's down flat. And we get our wee... Um, and we turn it over the body and now what we're going to do is just lay it down flat here so just go down corner to corner I can do this in one hand sorry hang on bear with me so corner to corner and that's that so you can see there that's down flat and here we go and that's it all let up there now inside. It's looking well. Hope you're pleased so far, Billy Jean. Right, let's get it into its frame. I'll leave that aside for a minute. IKEA um, has got special uh, film protection over the first bite's glass. So um, let's remove that. to do uh, let's pop that straight in we don't want it to get dirty push back your wee flats remember they were pulled out lift your frame the light goes to the top pop it down in and there look it's starting to look lovely there we are what do you think of this Normally I glue a wee few things down here at the bottom. So I'm just going to pause a wee minute and do that because I don't want to leave it out. Hang on. As I say, I forgot there just to add a few wee embellishments at the bottom. So I'm just adding a few wee snowflakes. Oh, just dropped it. A few wee snowflakes and stars. Just on the ledge of the frame. super glue again so be careful there in your fingers so okay now put it back in the frame again I'm too pernickety I think hang on be right back okay now we have it in and we're just all we're going to do is feed this wire down into this corner so I hope you can see me there let's see go down a bit there we are so just feed it in there and then bring it straight back up again and then get ready just to turn it around whenever you bring it back up and you can see there whenever we glue it down with the wee glue dots it'll sit in there no problem so that's enough measure there uh, what we'll do now is we'll just pop down these wee flaps here over the board close it all off there we go push it all down Okay, and then I get a couple of wee, dot, wee um, blue dots and we stick them on the back, two or three, just enough to help stick it down. There we go, you can see that, they're just there, and then just lay it down flat. Turn it on and off there. Okay. Handy enough. 
I must put it sits flush there near enough and to the corner so that's the frame a wee bit of fluff there that's the frame done now I don't think there's really anything else I can um, add to that uh, what you can do uh, obviously selling the product or doing whatever what I do is I get my own wee labels I'll just get one here and I put these on here and you can use your own wee stamper at the bottom as well so there you go and then I wrap it up and that's it ready so I hope you like it Billy Jean I shall take a photograph and uh, I'll uh, put it up on my page later but to give you an idea there it is up close I hope you um, like it I'll be in touch to get your address and get it posted over to you ASAP Thanks everyone. Oh, and by the way, the next tutorial will be uh, another uh, light up frame, but I'll be using wood forms, um, wooden trees. I'll be doing a family tree. Okay, and watch out for the next uh, promotion. Um, I'll run another one of those and see who the lucky person will be then for the next light up bespoke frame. All right, don't forget to give my page a like. Um, subscribe to me on the YouTube, YouTube channel um, and then you'll be notified of all these um, videos being uploaded. Okay, be in touch soon. Th thank you, bye.